I'd like you to stand on your mat, front edge, so that you're on the front edge and you've got the length of the mat behind you. Does that make sense? Rotate the shoulders down and back, stand tall, feet together. Good, spread your toes wide. Let's just roll through the soles of the feet. You want to land your balance between the balls of the toes and the heels. Once you feel that you've got that position and your body weight is placed centrally on the feet, stay still, shoulders down and back. Imagine a piece of string attached to the crown of the head and it's drawing you skywards. It's lengthening out the entire length of the body. <clears throat> so as you stand there, I'd like you to start to breathe in through the nose for a round of four, second count, and out through the nose for around a four second count. On each inward breath, you're filling the lungs completely. The lungs sit towards the back of the body, so the rib cage at the back is expanding, and your abdominal, your navel area, is rising and falling as well. So you're really exaggerating that breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. <clears throat> then if you can, you're going to take it to the Ujjayi breath, or Yuji breath, or Yoga breath. They're, they're the names, the Ujjayi, the Yogi, whatever you want to call it. And you do that by contracting the back of the throat slightly, so that this happens, so that you breathe in. And on the outward breath, you can make that sound. That's what we're looking for. That yogi breath, ujjayi breath. Good. Staying with that breathing, I'm just gonna turn and face you, but you're gonna stay on the edge of your mat. I want you to inhale, bring these arms up. And on the exhale, just simply take the arms down. Inhale. Exhale down. Now this time when you inhale, go for a bit of a knee bend and roll through the body. And exhale down. Let's do that again, bend the knees. Inhale. This time on the exhale, Rotate round to one side, keep your feet and knees together. Pull this arm back, inhale. And on the exhale, tip so that you're looking over the edge of your mat. Now inhale, lean back, chest high. Exhale, come back into centre. Inhale. Exhale, rotate round. Really pull this arm behind you. Inhale. And then exhale, tip over the edge of the mat. Bit of yin here, bit of yin yoga. Inhale, rotate that chest skywards. Exhale, come back. And now inhale, bend the knees. Big hug position. Big hook position. We're missing this position, aren't we? Hold it there, really round off the spine. From a side view, you're here. Good, release down. From here, rotations through that midsection. Big rotations now, just let the arms flop around you. There's no control in this. You're just letting them wrap around you. A little quicker if you can. <clears throat> and now, hold it round to the right side. Step back, just a little way, right foot. 
lean back and look over the far shoulder. Get that new jive breath in place. Can you hear yourself breathe? Back into centre. Rotations. Holding it round to the opposite side, left side. Pull the shoulder back, look over that shoulder. Step back, left foot. Both legs straight, pull the shoulder back. Lean back, looking behind. Jai breath in place. Back into centre, knees slightly bent, inhale, and on the exhale, chin to chest, roll over the neck, the shoulders, upper back, mid back, lower back, keep the knees bent, inhale, exhale, roll up, lower back, mid back, upper back, shoulders, neck, inhale, exhale, back down you go, I'm going to get you to do four more, including the one that you're on by yourself. Yep, so you're doing those roll downs with the knees bent. Really focus on the lower back. Those of you that are having problems with lower back or have had lower back problems, these roll downs are really beneficial for you. Let the arms hang, let the crown of the head draw you down. Inhale at the bottom. Exhaling as you come back up. Your breath will guide you. Your spine is like a bicycle chain. Each link in that chain is a vertebrae. So you're trying to separate each one off. And when you get to the top of your fourth and final, you'll inhale and on the exhale, swing down, inhale, return. And continue with those swing downs. If you can, get your fingertips to brush along the mats. Get your fingertips to brush along the mats if you can. Really bend deeply through those knees. Fingertips brushing along the mats. Good. Just one more to go. And when you come up, exhale, bring the arms down. Well done. Let's move on. Sun salutation. So, you're on the front edge of your mats. Feet together, stand tall. Listen to my teaching points. Inhale, exhale, forward bending pose. Inhale, Straighten the legs, flatten the back, eyes forwards. And on the exhale, take a long stride back into high plank. Now, you can either tricep dip and scoot through, but if that's a little bit adventurous for you, you can put your knees down and then scoop through. Cobra's here, upward dog is here, advanced upward dog size lifted. But everybody's shoulders are pushed out. Inhale, 
without using your knees, just hands and feet, push up into downward facing dog, push back through the hips, push back through the heels, let's walk the dog. Press both heels down, pull the nose to the knee, pull the shoulder blades together. So we don't want this, we want this. Now inhale, eyes forwards, and on the exhale, stride forwards, one leg, then the other. Inhale, hands down. And on the exhale, come up. And let's just release the arms down. Okay, and again. Inhale. Exhale, forward bending. Inhale. Exhale, high plank. Inhale, exhale, scoop through cobra or upward dog, shoulders push down, without using the knees, inhale, exhale, up you come, downward facing dog, inhale, exhale, stride forwards, feet together, now, bend the knees deeply, inhale, and this time on the exhale, let's bend both knees into the chair. Straighten the arms, pull them back. Inhale, stand tall, exhale, arms down. Well done, we're going to move on from that now. So if you want a quick drink, that one. We just kept the sun salutations short and sweet this morning. We're gonna do our warrior combination. So your front edge of the mat still. From here. I want you to inhale, bring up that right leg. And on the exhale, take a long stride back, but turn out that right foot, turn it out. Can you see? Inhale, arch back. And on the exhale, rotate round. So now, left foot forwards, Right leg back, left toe faces forwards, right toe faces sideways. You've, you've secured your position. From here, we're gonna make a lock. So turn your palms forwards, bring that arm down and press back on that knee. Bring the opposite arm, push back on that leg, push back. So the leg's pushing that way. Let's open up the arm again. Push back. So don't let the knee pivot in. Hold this position, keep it secured. We don't want roundedness, we want a nice line. Let's inhale, straighten both legs. Surrender your warrior. This time, exhaling, put a lock on, press that knee back, or if you want to advance this, place the hand to instep, pull the arm back. Inhale, come back up, surrender the warrior. Both legs straight if you can. Inhale, and on the exhale, you have three options now. You can put that lock on, press the knee back. You can go down into low warrior, or you can now straighten both legs, 
pull this arm back into triangle. Hold it there for two more breaths. Hold it there for two more breaths. Your toes are turned in for added grip. Legs are straight. When you've completed your breaths, heel, toe, Roll up through the spine. Rotate the shoulders down the back. Front toe. Turn it forwards. You're back into that warrior. Don't let this knee turn in. Put it back. Inhale. And on the exhale, just rotate forwards. Low lunge, arch back, inhale, come up, and on the exhale, down you go with those arms, feet together. Same thing, opposite leg. So it'll be the left leg that lifts. You ready? Inhale, lift up that left knee. And on the exhale, take a stride back and then turn it into warrior. So I've turned out my left toe to face side. Right toe faces forwards. Inhale, and on the exhale, turn it out. Front knee presses back. Inhale and on the exhale, let's make a lock with both arms first. Push that knee back, then extend that arm, bend the knee, drop the hip a little. Now we're going to inhale, straighten both legs, surrender the warrior back hand, hand to the back of the knee. Bicep to the cheek. Inhale. And on the exhale, either where you came from, or take it lower down. You might want to take your feet a little further apart. Pull back this top arm. Low side angle. Inhale. Coming back up, surrender the warrior. You've got a choice of three now. Exhale, either side angle with that lock on the knee, push the knee back. Low side angle or triangle. Pull this top arm back, look to the fingers if you can. Hold that position there. Hold that position there. Good. You have two more breaths, and then as before, we're going to make the diamond shape. So 
And when you've done those two slow breaths, make your diamond shape. Place it slightly forwards of your toes, push back through the hips and heels. Head down. Stay down. Those of you that don't want to go to head down position, for whatever reason, you're going to keep your legs straight. Take your diamond shape high. So you're really lengthening through the body. Yep, so you don't have to tip that head forwards if you don't want to. Two more breaths. After the two breaths, heel toe to walk in. Pivot round, but this time we're not coming up. Sit back, stretch to the fingers. Head down if you want to. And release. Well done. We're going to go on to hands and knees. Hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips. Inhale, push the abdominals down, eyes high into cow. Exhale, round off the spine into the lungs, chin to chest, into cat. Inhale, push down, fill the lungs into cow. Exhale, round off into the lungs, into cat. This time, one shot in cow, you're going to extend right leg high. I don't want it here. I want you to have that knee above the hip if you can. Now you can take the arm forwards if possible, but if you can, connect the foot and the hand and lift in this position, but keep that knee high. Eyes high, supporting arm strength. And release. Same thing opposite side. Push the abdominals down, arch the spine into cow. Push the leg high, flex the foot. Either just stay there, or if you wish to, extend the arm. But if you can, connect, where is it? The foot and the hand together, and lift high. Good, nice stretch. That knee's high. Good. And release. My favourite. Knees extra, extra wide. Sitting back to your heels. Okay, inhale, bring the arms up. If this is really uncomfortable and you've got a yoga block, you can sit on that block if you wish to. Inhale, and on the exhale, sway over to one side. Open leaf in the breeze. Inhale as you come back centre. Exhale, opposite side. Inhale as you come back centre. Let's repeat. Exhaling over. Inhaling, return. Exhaling over. Inhale, return. One more each side. Exhaling over. Inhale, return. Exhaling over, inhale, return, and bring the arms down. Now, rib cage and chest press down to the mats. Turn the head to the right side of the body. Keep pushing back through the hips. This 
is a great stretch for loosening up tight hips. Keep that new giant breath in place, turn your head round to the opposite side. Finish the breast of your arm. Come up. Hands beneath shoulders, knees beneath hips. Tuck the toes underneath you. Inhale. And on the exhale, down facing dog. Inhale, look where you're going. Exhale, stride forwards. Push back through those hips. Press the hands down to the mat. If you're there and you can't reach, it's not a problem. Bend the knees deeply, hands together. Inhale as you lengthen and grow. Squeeze your buttocks. Exhale into arch. Inhale, return. Exhale into the chair. Just a small balance in the chair if you can. Lift up your heels. Get low. Hold that, heels lifted. If you're finding that difficult, keep your heels down. But if you can, go for this balanced chair. Let's inhale, stand. Exhale, bring the hands to sternum, to chest. Inhale, fill the lungs completely. On the exhale, lean over to one side. Push the hips out. Inhale, return. Exhale, opposite side. Push the hips out. Inhale. Inhale as you come back to center. Exaggerate your breathing, exaggerate your ujjayi breath. Inhale, back into centre. Bring the arms down. Take the right hand. We've got a small breathing exercise now. So with that right hand, I want you to block the right nostril up with the thumb. And then block the left nostril up with the ring finger, yep, or with your middle finger, you choose, whatever's easier. Release off the right nostril. Breathe in for four, three, two, one. Close off both nostrils for four, three, two, one. Release left nostril, breathe out for four, three, two, one. Let's repeat. So in through the right nostril for four counts, keeping it slow. Fill the lungs completely. Close off both nostrils for the count of four. Release when it's ready, left nostril. And breathe out for the count of eight. Let's repeat. Breathing in, fill the lungs completely. Close off both nostrils for the count of four. And then if you can breathe out for the count of eight. One more time, but we're gonna breathe in for eight, hold for four, breathe out for eight. So you ready? Breathe it in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Close it off, two, 
three, four. Breathing out, two, three, four, five, six. Keep it going, seven, eight. And release. Hands to the third eye. Inhale with me. And to complete your session, give yourselves a little bow. Repeat after me. Namaste. Give yourselves a clap. Beautiful.